This is HP EliteBook A20Z4. Recently, it does have the issue with the internal battery. Okay. And the battery doesn't hold any power, so we're going to replace it. This battery costs around 40 to 45 pounds if you get a little bit good quality one and does have one year warranty. So that's the actual machine. First, we need to flip it and all the screws hidden underneath this black pad so make sure you remove the pad before you get into the screw Now don't forget to remove this memory card slot because there is a screw hidden underneath. If you don't open the screw then you would not be able to get into the actual back plate. So remove it and this is pretty stiff so I'm going to use my handheld screwdriver. Once it's removed then easily we can remove this back panel. So just lift it up like that and here is the actual battery which is on left hand side and secure with one screw. This screw is pretty hard to remove because there is a kind of spring underneath. We need the screw anyway, so we're going to remove it. Let me show you the model number because HP always they like to put individual model number for their parts. So once it's removed, we're going to take the replacement one and transfer the screw from the old one to the new one and then we can put it back now after installing the battery there are some kinds of procedure how we can boost it up up to 100 percent to get the maximum performance from the battery as you know the new battery comes with a little bit of charge is i always call this is kind of demo charge which is about 25 to 30 percent sometimes 25 to 45 percent okay so don't try to use it as soon as you put the battery on make sure you put it on charge to get fully charged check the manufacturer instruction all the time so when the battery is fully charged then try to use it and discharge it properly then again if you do full charge then battery would be ready to use so now the battery secured with one screw and now we can put the plastic back cover on and all the screw should be back into the place make sure the connection is flat and now we're going to put back all the screws and before we close it make sure you pull this RJ45 slot cover out. otherwise it's not going to sit in properly and then one by one we're going to put all the screws back
it's all done now so we're gonna check if there is any error message because previously I used to receive a warning the battery is dead something like that press F1 to continue and that's the old one which I'm already replaced so let me turn on the machine and check as you can see there is no any error message straight away is going to boot up okay so that's mean the battery is perfect so thanks for watching i hope i'll see you in the next video bye for now